Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. Today, I'm just gonna make a really short, quick video to show you an alternate way to power the IBM SAS Expander uh, 46M0997. So this is one of the SAS Expanders that I've uh, talked about in uh, other videos. And I've had a few discussions with a few customers trying to find alternate ways to power this card. So this card, although plugs into a PCI slot is not actually a PCI card. It primarily uses the slot just for power. It's driven off of the SAS connection uh, to your HBA or RAID card. So that's how your system is going to actually talk to this card. It's not through the PCI slot itself. Now I've had a couple of customers uh, do some pretty creative uh, ways of setting this up. Uh, one particular customer had a motherboard whose one of the PCI slots was disabled if you use the M.2 slot. Um, this is fairly common in some of the gaming boards where there's only limited amount of PCI lanes. So if you use one feature, one another feature might get turned off. And so in that case, he had a PCI slot that he could not use as a regular PCI slot because he was using the M.2 slot. And he tried plugging uh, this card in that slot and just because this card only needs the power, it was uh, able to power on. And so that was kind of a creative use of using a otherwise uh, unusable PCI slot. So that's uh, you know some of the things that you can do with this. Now I've had some customers who said, hey, I tried powering this on with one of these um, PCI extenders that are often used for the crypto mining rigs, uh, basically just to connect your GP a whole bunch of GPUs to uh, a serve, um, your PCI slots uh, away from the motherboard. And so this is one of those type of uh, cards or PCI extenders, I guess they're called. It extends the PCI uh, slot with this USB cable. And so there's another counterpart to this that actually plugs in to an actual PCI slot and you connect the two with the USB uh, cable. But in this case, all I'm using this for is to power the uh, SAS expander and as you can see it's blinking everything is working I've got these two long cables going to my HBA controller and I've got four other cables that are going to the back plane to the 16 hard drives and so as you can see it does work I've had a few people who say they tried this and it did not work so in that case maybe there's something else going on maybe the board they were using was defective or somehow wasn't providing uh, the, the power correctly or something like that. I'm not really sure, but this is why I wanted to make this video because I want to actually try it out and to confirm that this is actually possible. You know, theoretically, it sounded like it would have been uh, a possible, but you know, theoretical versus reality sometimes uh, don't always match. So I just want to actually, uh, I ordered this thing off of eBay for like $5 or something like that. It took forever to get here, uh, but it finally arrived uh, yesterday. And so as you can see, it's powering the, the SAS expander just fine. All the lights are on, it's getting warm. And just to kind of show you here, uh, I'm gonna run LSI util s. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, so you can see that I'm seeing all 16 disks, right? Zero through 15. The 16th one is the actual expander itself, as you can see right here and it's linking, I have two cables, so it should have uh, eight links, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six gigabit links. So it is definitely working this way. Uh, I don't know why, um, I guess some of the people that have bought from me who tried this uh, weren't able to get it to work, but you know, that might have been some other issue. Anyway, it does seem to work. And if you look now this, uh, PCI extender can be powered in one of three ways. There is a SATA power connector right here that I'm not using because I don't have a SATA power uh, uh, connector on this uh, motherboard. And then on the back side, it can be powered by a six pin or be, uh, it can be powered by a four pin uh, Molex. And that's what I'm using just because I happen to have uh, this available in this chassis. So, um, you know, I don't know if maybe powering it uh, through other means might make a difference. I wouldn't really think so. So, you know, four pin Molex basically provides uh, four, uh, sorry, uh, 12 volt and five volt. Does not provide 3.3 volt. Whereas a SATA power connector might provide 3.3 volt. I don't know um, if that makes a difference in whether this uh, is going to work or not. But, 
you know, so this probably doesn't have 3.3 volt, um, considering the power source doesn't have it. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, so just wanted to show you guys this as an alternate way um, to power on the SAS expander. So if you're building a server where you're maybe you're out of PCI slots and you still want to use this uh, SAS expander, you want to find a way to uh, power this thing on, you can use one of these and um yeah and then you can mount this you know anywhere else in the chassis where um you don't have to be you know actually in a real pci slot to do this and this again is not connected to any pci slot like it would normally be used if it was used for the uh, crypto mining rigs but i'm simply using it just to provide power through the pci slot to the sas expander all right so hopefully uh that will give you guys some uh, new ideas of how to use this uh ibm sas expander uh, part number 46M0997 and uh, if you're curious about this expander make sure to check out my other videos I talk about um, how to update the firmware on this so if you buy this from anybody else make sure you update the firmware on it because uh, with the older firmware some of these SAS connections don't work or, or will work intermittently uh, I do show I have a video who's showing you how to upgrade the firmware on this and where to get it how to download it how to actually flash it and all that stuff uh, if you buy this from my eBay store, they will already be updated and fully tested. Okay, so I hope you guys find this video useful. And I hope this gives you some uh, new ideas of how you can power this SAS expander. Whether it's because you want to mount it somewhere else in the chassis away from the PCI slots. Or perhaps you simply don't have any more PCI slots left. It is still possible to uh, power on this expander and make use of it. Uh, you could use an adapter like this. Uh, or you can use the other method I mentioned earlier. But anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, make sure to give me a like and make sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.